Hello, my name is Alex, and I have an interesting kit to show off today. This is Suyata's Panther A with 16 ton Strabo Strabocron. Man, that's a hard one. With a display base and a maintenance diorama. It also has a full interior and Zimrit. So, this just came out. Um, it is January 20th, 2021 at this point. It came out a couple days ago, and I managed to get it. So, uh, I'm just going to take you through the kit. This isn't a great review or anything, but it should be good enough for those who are on the edge. So, to begin, we have our sprue with some internal components, such as the uh, base for the chassis, the rear firewall, uh, some more interior components I don't know what are, looks like some engine parts, and of course all of the torsion bars, which are molded in one piece. And these look pretty doggone good. They're definitely preferable to having to put them all in or having them molded straight like I've seen in some interior 48 scale Panthers. Now we move on to the turret sprue. Now this one's pretty interesting because we can get a good look at the gun. So as you can see, what I believe to be is the, the scope is already pre-molded and the machine gun barrel is also pre-molded. And this also has a very 135th style two-piece open muzzle brake. And here we have our MG, I believe it would be a machine gun, uh, some other turret components, and, and we have a lot molded on here. There's a lot of cleverness done with this kit where interior details are molded in instead of being separate. And then this sprue is kind of miscellaneous. We have oil drums, the latter is shown in the box, various shells, couple of jerry cans and what I believe yeah these are just more these are the heads of the shells which presumably plug in there making the ammo sticking out presumably now this sprue is some more interior parts we have uh, parts of the drivetrains some coolers these are really detailed I don't know if I can get it to focus there we go uh, the turret floor, some more transmission parts, all sorts of goodness. And we have some slide molding here, a sign of goodness, greatness. And now uh, we have yet another sprue. This one appears to be the engine, and it is, boy, is it detailed. That's just, this is some real lovely molding right here. More shells. Just let it focus in on that. Now this sprue has, I believe these might be the Schertzen, and these are pretty daggone thin. You can't really see it, but they're very, very thin, and they're not, they're a little warped, but it's not bad. We have some exhaust, which are hollowed out, that's pretty good. Another ladder. This is the figure, the maintenance figure that comes with it. There's him, there's his head. I believe more of his head and his arms. That looks pretty nice. Can't wait to paint that up. Some logs, uh, Hall MG. Uh, there's, the, there's the jack. Now this sprue, any of the gray sprues are strato... are, are strato... Bleh, stratobocron parts. So as you can see here, just some miscellaneous pieces. I don't even know what these are. Big hook. This is going to be quite interesting to put together. Now we have some love, really good link and link. These are just super detailed. They're all on the, on the bendy side, but that'll probably be correct. If, but if you get in real close, that is just gorgeous looking. Uh, I only couple injector pin marks. Presumably like Tamiya, they're located in good spots. This is very Tamiya-esque, but in a good way, in a modern way. I believe that's some spare tracks. We have these wheels. These look pretty good. We have two of those sprues. This, this is really something. This is the main hull. So you may think this is one part judging by how it's put together, but no. It's two separate ones that fit so well. And that is just beautiful. It's going to look great with that Zimmerit on it. 
speaking of which was decal zimmer, did I forget to mention? Then we have finally some of the bigger parts of the crane, some of the base components, and some of the wheels. Then here's one of the more interesting parts of this kit. This is a diorama base with tread patterns and terrain and everything. You could probably do a lot with this. This would be a great starting point. And then here is the goodie bag. So as you can see, we have a really nice bit of photo etch, grills of course, the chains for the crane, even more grills, some other some grab handles. Uh, we have a metal tow, uh, tow cable, a uh, good looking decal sheet, there's even some instruments in there, that's quite, that's quite intelligent, a bunch of string. And then here, this is the Zimmerit, so I'll be careful about this because I don't want to mess this kit up too much, it's really nice. And it certainly wasn't, uh, yeah. So, put that back in there. So this is the decal Zimmerit. Now once again, I'm going to be quite careful because I don't want to damage the Zim. So as you can see, it may look uh, one-dimensional, but I assure you, it is not. Wow, this is quite varied, quite natural looking. I can't wait to see how this goes down. Just being ever so careful because this is a really nice kit. I've been waiting for it ever since I was able to spot it on Scalemates. And if you're not familiar with Scalemates, it's a place, great place to track down the lineage of any kit you're building, or to find new ones, or to learn anything about the about kits or ones that are being released, any number of things like that. All right, now we finally get to the instructions. These are all resealable bags, by the way. And you'll notice um, they pre-burnt the ends of their strings. How about that? And to me, it doesn't do that. Really, the only thing I think I could compare this to would be a Tamiya 48th scale kit. Okay, so these, these are really nice. Full color. Full color paint guide. This is the kind of stuff that the Rye Field Panther has. So anyway, that is a review of this wonderful kit. So if you like it, I hope you can try and buy it. You can currently get it from Hobby Link Japan, but the shipping's absurd. There's a couple guys on eBay that have it, but they're going to take a long time to get it to you. But either way, a great kit, and I hope you enjoy.